Welcome back everyone to part something of Dark Moon Diaries. And by everyone I mean just like the one person watching this. So Mac. Savage. Pretty much. Pretty much just Mac. Savage. <laughs> so we're gonna start today off by doing the Hunter's Legacy quest. Where we weren't able to finish it a few times ago, because I believe we just couldn't get to this area. Where are you? Where are you? Why are you in a cutscene? Because that's where the main story. I did oh, I just say we're doing main story? Yeah. Okay, I'm moving on without you. Don't worry. We're doing Hunter's Legacy, but you yeah, mean why story. are you leaving me? Huh? I'm right here. You don't love me. Look at this abandonment. He can't even wait five like seconds. Okay, you might want to change out of your level sixty. Yes. Okay, yeah, so you're a higher level than me. By one. Don't worry, you'll surpass me in like five seconds. I'll go down and understand how you do that. <laughs> Um, uh, how am I supposed to pass you? I play less than you. Yo, is that ape, uh, big, big ape? Like, a. Uh, mm-hmm. Do we want to use our level 80s to kill it? That's a level 80 ape, so, uh, I don't think we might, I don't know if we'll succeed. If I do healer, you do tank? I don't want to waste time right now. Okay. We're doing it, let's go. <laughs> Switch now. So you're stocked up by the time you get there. This way. Oh yeah, I forgot the music here. Yeah, I know, that's way better. Okay, don't get the beetles though. Oh, it resisted provoke! Okay, stay away from those beetles, by the way. Oh, did this have that stupid? Ah! I need to get this one down. Alright, I got you. Oh, yeah. oh, we're not finishing this. Uh, look at its HP. Um, oh shit, save me, save me, Peach, run, 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 because those beetles are trying to kill me. I'm from the car. Now get out. I There's know. no point wasting time here. It's something we couldn't handle. Well, it's the beetle started attacking me. I started dying. It's not the beetle. I hope it was that entire time we did 2% damage. Yeah, because I was trying to move. Maybe as level 90s we could do it, but not as level 80s. That's sad. It was right there, too. <laughs> like, you can see how massive that is. No, what? No matter what. Actually, you're going towards an ape. You know how horrible they are and possibly dead. Why would they be? Oh, any? guess what? Ew. Yo, it still let me stay in your car, eh? Yeah. That's funny. When I was little, Miss Olvara seemed so much bigger and stronger to me, or stronger than me. Though, to be perfectly honest, the way she carries herself even now bespeaks a confidence I cannot help but envy. But never mind that. We have a virtue to hunt. Let us commence our search at once. And keep your weapons at the ready, my friend. Oh yeah, this is the Sin Eater Tricky. Yeah, where we're hunting yeah. her. It's this quest. Yeah. We can do the next one at 78. Oh, there she is. We're having a stroke. Huh. About time our luck took a turn for the better. There she is.
What? Now? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I know, right? He's like, I need you to do all the work. Why are you fucking having a stroke? Ooh, what was that? I wish you were all here with oh, me. Oh, shit. Why do I gotta do this? This is her dream. Oh, but that's... I know it's better than you're not. We have a score to settle, you bloody bastard. And this time, I'm ready for your tricks. Oh, there's yeah, that thing. Do we play as her? Yeah. Ooh. But you only get like three abilities, which I was like, oh no, no. Oh, make sure you interrupt the ability. Yeah, button. I know. Oh, trust me, I know. Oh, no. Do you think this is going to be one of those ones that's not actually... Finishing. Oh, no. You only got like the five, four abilities, yep. right? by bomb. Cause I thought I could silence it. Yo, how far are you? 60%. Oh my god, I'm only at 55. 55? Yeah, 54 now. Yeah, so you're ahead of me. Yeah, I know. But, I, mean, I feel like they should have given me some more abilities. Oh, you can't both nullify that shit. Yeah, the only thing you can do is the roar. Oh shit, I died. No. Oh, they did that on purpose. Yeah, okay. Down for the count. Wow, you already matched up to me? And then Ardbert comes and helps. Yeah, okay. there's like 50,000 of them. Yeah, it's all of them. This should go a lot faster.
It's pretty cool as a fight overall, though. Yeah. So she didn't do it all alone, that's pretty much what we're learning. They put a DPS track in here. Oh, did they? What? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Good. completed. No. Wait, am I supposed to stand in here? Oh no, that's that's not going well. Oh no. Uh, yeah, okay, I got this. Maybe I don't got this. Heh, <laughs> tough old bugger. Everyone alright. See, she didn't do it. We had to possess her body to do it. Does she kill everybody? To say she did it herself? Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Argbert, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry for trying to go it alone. And why, pray tell, did you even try to do something so foolish? If we'd been here from the first, it wouldn't have been anything even approaching a challenge. Back in the day, I was a bounty hunter, and I've told I've told you that much, but I haven't told you about my old partners. Together, we tracked and claimed countless notorious marks throughout our, throughout Nobrand. We were the best in the business. Everyone knew our names and our reputation. They called us legends. And somewhere along the line, we started to believe it too. And then we set our sights on Balam Kits. <coughs> I survived. They didn't. I swore vengeance, but had no idea how to go about pursuing it. Then I met you lot and thought that maybe, with your help, I might just have a fighting chance. So you see, I never intended to keep it all a secret. It's just, you never asked, and since I'd rather not talk about it, easier to live in the moment, you know? The next town, the next job. The weeks flew by, and after a time, I started having second thoughts. 
I'd lost those closest to me before. I didn't want to live through that again. Are we or are we not comrades through thick and thin? These bonds of fellowship between us must come before all else, otherwise they may as well not exist. You say the thought of losing us pained you. What of our feelings? What of our loss? What if we had not arrived when we did? You've saved our lives more times than I cannot count. How dare you refuse to let us do the same? And with the, without those keen ears of yours, I'll never know what bollocks Brandon and Niall Burt are whispering about me behind my back. And ignorance <laughs> is not bliss, let me tell you. <laughs> this one's worth a fortune, eh? And fame, besides. I'll wager we won't have to pay for our drinks when we get back into town. <coughs> oh, God, it's not another night to remember. Don't you worry your pretty head over our fearless leader's questionable constitution. Take pride in the victory, for the small folk will sleep easy once they hear of Balam Kit's demise, until Arbert's drunken snoring wakes them up from their slumber. And on that note, I think it's time we quit this place. And Renda Ray, I trust that the next time you decide to hunt deadly game, you'll do us the courtesy of extending us an invitation. No. <laughs> and there I thought I was doing you a favor by keeping you out of my personal affairs, selfish as it was. Okay, um, I forgot that we were no longer in a party and I teleported. That's fine. Oh, fine. But if you go and die on me, I'll pay a necromancer to raise you from the dead so I can kill you out of spite. <laughs> yeah, that's what I tell you every time. I'll kill you and then I'll bring you back to life to kill you again. Or if you die on me, I'll bring you back to life. Kill you myself to then bring you back to life. Because <laughs> you died on me. <laughs> Agreed. Now then, mind cutting off whatever it is you need to take back as proof of the kill. I don't want to lose our reward on a technicality. Touch the crystal. Touch the crystal. <laughs> Such a fine crystal. Why not hold it as a memento of this occasion? <coughs> Wake up, damn you! Hello? What's wrong with you, huh? That's the second time your so-called gift has cost us a chance at slaying Andrea. You, you know what? I've had enough. This is why you don't have friends. <laughs> enough, I say. Yes, I don't need your help. I am perfectly capable of hunting the Sun Eater on my own. <coughs> Oof. Did you not learn anything from that? Oh, contract? oh yes. What will you say? It's past time I told you to piss off. Must be angered. Yeah, but he's pretty much just repeating what she did anyways. She's gonna go off to try and he's gonna yeah. go off to try and kill a huge game and then Upon our return to Gate Town, you will be given your final payment, and we will be free to go our separate ways. Spoiled brat. God. Uh, where did you teleport to, right? Yeah. Oh, there's people killing the mark. No! How many? I think we missed it. Oh. No. Oh. See, we should have done a call out. They were doing a train, so you don't do call out for that. Like, there's a true group doing a train there. So? It's considered bad manners to break a train. Okay, if I didn't know there was a... Oh, like, there's people set up there already. I was talking about before people set up there. No, 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 like, a train has been going for a while. How am I supposed to know that? 
there's discords. Okay, how am I supposed to know those discords? No idea. Yeah, that's precisely why. Like. Alright, let's go turn this in. Yeah, Are we have Lightyear yet? Oh, hey, is that a train or is that just a big fat thing? Ah, uh, it's just a big fat thing. Ah, oh, you need to kill it. Things. I see another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't able to use my overpowered one. Yeah, I used to it first. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> Not really. Oh, dang, we're already 22 minutes into recording. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that fight took a long time since we only allo were allowed to use, like, freaking. Yeah, that's true. Four abilities and tangling. We, might, we might make this one a shorter episode and just call it after this one. And then, uh, we'll do the main story in the next episode. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot! This is his nanny. Yeah. Olvara. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know why I ever placed my faith in you. You are such a disappointment. Consider this the formal dissolution of our partnership. Let none ever speak the names Reekin Glacier in the same breath. Yes, never again. And with that, I bid you good day. When he was little, Reek's parents punished him for a time by withholding his allowance. Without money to lavish on his friends, he soon found that many were only drawn to him by his wealth. I dare say he feared you would abandon him as they did and decided to push you away first. I'm not trying to make excuses for what he did. I only hope you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Take some time to think it over, then come and see me. Oh, and take this for your troubles. Oh, there we go, we can pick up the next one. Yeah, we did. So, I think I'm gonna stop it here and we'll continue the next part in the next episode? Or do you, should we make this a longer one and do this one too? Don't do that. Uh, 23 minutes, I think we're good to call it an episode here. So hopefully if anyone's watching this and you're not subscribed, which I highly doubt because no one watches our videos, <laughs> if you can leave a like and subscribe, that would be appreciated. And welcome back everybody to episode 38 of Dark Moon Diaries. Wow. We've been going pretty long, huh? And hopefully... In uh, a few days' time, we have better audio quality going with the mic mount. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Trying to get Scar's attention, she's ignoring me. I didn't ignore you. Oh, well, I guess she's in a cutscene. I'm not in a cutscene. <laughs> Just ignoring me? Don't want to look at me? I, I can see you across. I see your head. <laughs> I'm sure a talented man like yourself is needed all over the realm, and so I thank you for sparing a moment to hear me out. <coughs> Since you two parted ways, Reek has come to visit me several times. Though he is blessedly in good health, I worry for his spirit. I think you may have been the only friend he has had for some time. <laughs> I considered journeying to Crystarium myself to look in on him, but I find travel rather difficult these days. If you would go in my stead, it would put my heart at ease. To the Crystarium! Who said I was ever his friend? 
My job is to kill senators. <laughs> we are his friends too, okay? No. What do you mean, no? He doesn't pay me enough to be his friend. You don't want to be his friend? No. But why not? What has he ever done to make you not want to be his friend? <coughs> really? You're asking that? Yeah. Ludwig's customary seat is empty, and there's nothing to suggest he has occupied it recently. Perhaps someone will have noted his passing. His death is not passing? Oh, that's rude. Yeah, I gotta get back to leveling my astrology. Or I'll go and deal with Sage instead. <laughs> Ludwig, the Mistal Lordling. If he ain't sat at his usual table, then I've no idea where else to look. Thank you, you useless person. Looking for Master Reek, I say, are we? Heh, <laughs> I dare say you're the only one. Word is mummy and daddy cut him off, so there's no point in pretending to like the little shit anymore. Or shite, I guess. Last I saw him, he was moping about like someone has shot his Amaro. I'm sure he'll turn up eventually. Wow, these people are terrible. Dude, I was gonna say, like, how many times does everyone have to say, like, mummy and daddy cut him off? These people are horrible people. Mm, Lucia, right? You're Lurid's partner. I was with Landbird, remember? Buzz, I ought to stress, because after we left you, we headed straight to Rectica. We'd heard a rumor Andrea was there, and Landbird wanted to strike while the iron was hot. By the time we realized we were overmatched, it was too late. I saw Landbird fall, and when the Eater set her sights on the others, I fled. Call me a coward if you like, but my cowardice <laughs> saved my life. Wicked white, I still remember looking back as I ran and seeing Landward rise to his feet. I legit was about to say, Coward! <laughs> You're like, call me a coward. <laughs> I told everyone what had happened to warn them off the hunt. Some listened, but a bloody fool, a few bloody fools took their weapons and joined the hunt. Glory hungry imbeciles, and not a single one of them has returned. Didn't expect Lurik to be one of them neither. I remember thinking it odd, especially when I saw him leave for Raktika alone. You're meeting him there, I presume? Good luck, friend. But have no doubt that you're going to your doom. Back to Raktika we go! Oh, you already teleported. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now you need me for it, my buddy. Get on the vehicle. Get on the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm trying. I clicked on the person who you were on top of instead of you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I did it on purpose. Not all the way down there we go. Hopefully this one doesn't take those that take too too long. So we can do some MSQ in this uh, episode as well, instead of just leaving at this. Do you think that was an S rank or A rank? I was an A rank. Mm. They posted it was an A rank, Mark. Uh, yeah. So do those not pop up that often? Or are those still on the rotations like normal things? I think they're on rotation. Like, they come up like once a every few days or something like that. I'm not sure though. <coughs> Look at him sitting on the ground. Yeah, it's just two year old. He's probably crying. Or he's been stabbed. No, he's just crying. Glacier, why are you here? Don't tell me you came for me. No, I didn't. Sadly, that's the only reason we came. No, I didn't. Oh, oh my god! I'm not fighting no more battles in this other person's character. It's terrible. It's horrible. Andrea, she's... She's... She's a sinner. <laughs> oh, we have a heart attack. I mean, what? My character's having another stroke. 
Yeah. For the umpteenth time. We really should get a pacemaker and put in. Honestly. Maybe take an Advil here and there. Yeah. Stop the headaches. Yeah. Render Ray, if 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 aught you bleh, oh. if aught of you remains, then hearken to my words. I have come to lay your soul to rest, alone as you yourself faced the long kids a century ago on this very ground. <gasps> no. Oh, Lambert? Oh, gods! No. <coughs> she converted them all. Mm hmm. Against their will. <sighs> She pretty much made her own team again. Yep. Is she gonna be facing a Sin Eater version of Balam Kits? Don't tell me. You beheld a vision of my past just now, didn't you? <laughs> Ooh, tired. Aye, I thought as much. It wasn't but a moment, a moment ago that I confronted them. Awfully useful, that trick of yours. Though I can't understand why you kept using it every time we ran into Andrea. You think I can choose? <coughs> huh. So it wasn't something you did deliberately. Good to know. Anyway, unintentional or not, at least I won't have to convince you of what I saw. She's turned Lambert and those other hunters into sin eaters like herself. A Hume Axeman, a Galgent Swordsman, a Dwarven Healer, an Elven Mage. Looked awfully familiar, didn't it? She's rebuilding her fellowship. She's remaking the Warriors of Light. But for the life of me, I can't understand why. I mean, I understand why she came here in the first place. She's reliving the hunt for Balam Kits. But Renda and Ray slew the beast by herself. The stories were clear about that. No. No. She did not. What? They were there too? Then the stories were wrong? <coughs> God strike me down. I've been such a fool. Yeah. Why did I ever think I could do this alone? I I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me for all the things I said, Glacier. I did that, 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 that. <laughs> I've regretted my behavior ever since the day we parted ways. It was stupid and unses- Words are hard today. And nonsensical and utterly pointless. It was like not even ten minutes ago, bro. What? That we left them. Oh <laughs> yeah, but you know, technically, we wouldn't have been here yet until if we were following with proper leveling. Like if we started to in Shadowbringers as a level seventy. I'm not sure I can even tell you why I did what I did. Oh shit. Got to. We have to change classes. Why? Because to move on with this, it has to be level uh, 78. Thank you, my friend. I hope it is alright if I can call you that. Well, then we'll come back to it. Okay. Because it has to be a melee DPS. I know. It might have to actually be this class, though. Right, then. Andrea should be around here somewhere. Still on the hunt for Balam Kits, I expect. Not that she'll ever find it. No doubt Lambert and the others are with her, too. He and I may have had our differences, but it's, I'd not wish that fate on my worst enemy. I guess I could do it with my ninja if that was a thing. He deserves to be laid to rest. They all do. Render oh, Ray, most of all. She was. She is my hero. And if I have to kill her to save her soul, then so be it. But this is too much even for the best hunter to handle alone. And I am far from the best. The only way to see this through is together. You and me, my friend. What say you? <coughs> I shall punch my fist. Ha! I ask for a word and you give me a nod. Fair enough. Before... <laughs> they actually said that. Before we resume the hunt in earnest, though, let us return to Gate Town and let Miss Olvera know all as well. After all, you wouldn't have come unless she sent you. I just 
just saved your life, by the way. When you mean continue, do you mean like the next quest? Uh, yeah, the continuation of this quest. Oh, yeah, Fellowship Restored, level 78. That's the, the handing in of it. By the way, I saved your life. Two of those beetles aggroed and tried to kill us. Okay, well, because we can't really move on until level 70, we might as well move on with story. We'll get some MSQ in here as well. Well, I would just stop this video and we can add the rest of this video.